A long track stretches towards a death-defying leap in front of a rider determined to fly high, break records, and amaze crowds. He places a firm grip around the throttle of a 450cc Suzuki motocross bike and revs the engine, reminding himself of the power that lies beneath him. It's now or never. Alex Harville twists the throttle, releases the clutch, and launches forward, leaving behind a trail of rock, dirt, and all his fears. Every bit of speed counts if he wants to make it over the immense gap that lies ahead of him. The engine roars louder as he picks up momentum, bringing him closer to his lofty goal. The final seconds before impact will determine absolute victory or devastating tragedy. Alex lifts off the edge of the curved ramp like a phoenix out of the ashes. The crowd holds their breath as anticipation and fear wash over their faces. Each second in the air feels like a lifetime, a lifetime that Alex happily lives every time he defies gravity. Alex Harville was born to be a motocross bike world record holder, until this awful day when the cheers of his adoring fans turned into gasps of horror. Join us as we uncover the terrifying last moments of Alex's epic life. What really happened in this talented motocross rider's final stunt? Being born for motocross is not just a cliché Alex Harville was raised with. From the tender age of four, Alex was tearing up tracks on a dirt bike. At a time when most of us were struggling to chew our food, Harville was busy developing his passion for his extreme sport. He was born in a small town in Washington in 1992, to a dad who inspired Alex's love for motocross by letting him ride with him on his dirt bike. It's here that he picked up a natural talent for the sport. Feeling the engine rumble underneath him, with wind racing across his helmet and the speed climbing along with his adrenaline, Alex could not deny his obsession for all things motocross. My entire life I've ridden dirt bikes, looked up to everyone that races dirt bikes, and thought of those guys as heroes, he reflected. While he didn't know it at the time, there was little doubt he would grow up to be a purebred motocross rider, and that his infatuation would lead to the end of his young life. On top of his fiery obsession, Alex was invested in multiple other sports as a child. He dabbled in many sports during his time in school, such as football, wrestling, and golf. In his younger years, he was described as a dedicated athlete with a strong drive to succeed. There's no telling what heights Alex could have reached if it weren't for his catastrophic accident. Even with a commitment to multiple sports, nothing could deter Alex from his true passion. It was at the age of 15 that he got seriously invested in the world of motocross racing, and by then, he was a natural. Up until his final moments, Alex competed in countless professional races, such as the American AMA and Canadian Pro Motocross Series. He also entered many arena cross races. These events take place in massive arenas filled with man-made tracks and obstacles. But for a daredevil spirit like Harville, darting through race tracks and competing for first place was just not enough for him. Alex wanted to prove that he could compete with the best and become a legendary stunt performer. And this is what set him on his journey to become a double world record holder. His admiration of figures like Evil Knievel meant he was destined for a life of performing dangerous and thrilling stunts. Unfortunately, fate often has other plans for us. In an interview, Alex Harville said, It's so awesome that I can follow in his footsteps and just live on the daredevil motorcycle legacy of pushing the limits. Evil Knievel performed over 75 ramp-to-ramp -ramp stunt jumps throughout his life, famously jumped the Snake River Canyon in Idaho, and was inducted into the Motocross Hall of Fame in 1999. He also crashed more than 20 times and suffered numerous injuries, mostly broken bones. His entry in the Guinness Book of World Records states he suffered 433 bone fractures by the end of 1975. So following in his footsteps was bound to leave you with some broken bones. But shockingly, before Alex broke any bones, he managed to win an impressive two world records. His endurance and determination truly shone through in 2012 and 2013. Alex Harville's first record jump occurred on the 12th of May, 2012. He had been training day in and day out to crush the ramp to dirt jump record when Steve Eilers from Toes MX Park in Royal City heard about the dedicated 19-year-old. He had already landed over 350 feet, 
so they wanted to get it on camera and make it official. Steve Eilers commented, When you see somebody with that much talent, bike control, and confidence, it's hard not to get behind him and give him all the support you can to help him meet his potential. An entire week of attempts passed without success, but Alex was determined. It was on day eight of jumping at Toes MX Park when Alex finally broke the record. He cleared the biggest ramp gap in history, landing at an insane 425 feet. He blasted past Ryan Cape's previous record of 391 feet, as well as Robbie Madison's record of 392 feet. Steve Eilers and Derek McIntyre provided the bike and ramp setup for this record. They believed that if it weren't for a strong headwind that Alex was facing that day, he could have gotten his record up to 460 feet. Jay Schweitzer, the cameraman behind Harville's first record-breaking jump, posted a message on social media about the fearless young stunt rider. Alex Harville fired up the bike cold, didn't take any speed runs, and with the biggest ramp gap in history. He hit the ramp at 105 miles per hour. Alex landed perfectly at 425 feet, and I pretty much my pants. In my 25-year filming career, it's still the single most incredible moment I have ever captured on camera. The jump was surveyed by a licensed land surveyor in the state of Washington, as well as Toes and Derek McIntyre, and I am proud to say it as official. But it seems one record-breaking jump was just not enough for Alex. Just over a year later, he was back at it again. Now that he held the world record for dirt to ramp in motocross, he turned his sights to the goal of smashing the dirt-to-dirt -dirt motocross jump record. On July 6, 2013, at the Horn Rapids Motorsports Complex in West Richland, Washington, Alex got ready to jump over the record-breaking gap. A big crowd eyed him with nervous tension, praying that he made it through alive. The nerves of performing in front of a crowd clearly had no effect on the brave youngster. Having broken a similar record before, Alex crushed through this one with ease, smoothly launching from one dirt pile and gently landing on the other. He traveled a whopping 297.55 feet through the air. Up until now, no one has broken these two records, and Alex Harville remains the world record holder in both events. Just this alone is a testament to his fearless character and driven personality. But unfortunately, Alex would not live to see his first record in 2012 officially recognized. It wouldn't be until 10 years after his jump that the Guinness World Records finally approved and recognized his 425-foot ramp to dirt record. If Alex had received recognition for his record-breaking jump sooner, would he have felt the need to attempt the fatal stunt again? In an event that seemingly foreshadowed his death, Alex was attempting to jump a staggering distance between two ramps. He was determined to break another world record, this time at the Talladega Super Speedway. It was April 2017, and he was practicing for the main show in May. Alex was going to break Robbie Madison's existing Guinness World Record ramp-to-ramp -ramp jump of 351 feet, except he wanted to up the ante and add an additional 50 feet to Robbie's already insane distance. Covering this distance requires a good run-up, the right speed, insane control of the bike, and an accurate landing. Not to mention nerves of steel which Alex seemed to have in good supply. Unfortunately, he picked up too much speed on his entry, traveling over 105 miles per hour. Alex hit the ramp perfectly, but overshot the ramp landing on the other side. I hit the ramp and it felt amazing. I just launched right off and I was like, wow, just awesome. And then all of a sudden, I just saw I was going too far. And at that point, there's nothing you can do. Thanks to his precise control, Alex managed to get his rear wheel down first, but it was not enough to mitigate the shock of the heavy landing. His front wheel came down and exploded on impact, sending him flying over his handlebars. Somehow, Alex managed to roll out of the crash, launching onto his feet, but the damage was already done. I came out on my feet and it was like, oh man, I'm okay, but then I could feel my foot was broken. That was the greatest moment in my career at that point, and I totally, totally ruined it. Due to the injury, the world record attempt was called off. It seems like life was telling Alex to forego his goal of breaking Robbie Madison's record, but he had a spirit of perseverance, and nothing would get in his way. 
It's miraculous to think that, before his death, Alex Harville etched his name into the history books, alongside some of the greatest daredevils to live. Evil Knievel, Ryan Capes, and Robbie Madison would all be proud. Alex Harville had a fierce drive to accomplish his goals, and it's this fierce drive that eventually led to his demise. Alex Harville was not content with giving up on his dreams. After his first unsuccessful attempt, Alex decided to give Robbie Madison's 351-foot ramp record another run for its money. To put that insane distance into perspective, that's about the length of an American football field, from goalpost to goalpost. It was years in the making, but the day had finally come. Alex Harville was going to destroy Robbie Madison's previous ramp record. On June 17, 2021, crowds gathered at the Grant County International Airport in Washington to witness the spectacle. It was the Moses Lake Air Show, but Harville's jump was the reason many people were there that day. Alex was warming up for the main event, picking up speed, and testing his bike out for the final jump. All his friends and family, including his wife and two young children, were watching, praying that Alex demolished another record safely. A distance away from the ramp, he set himself up on the runway. He was going for a practice run to build his confidence and hype up the crowd. Alex Harville revved his engine up for what would be the last time. He looked ahead at the immense path leading up to a monumental jump. Heat waves rose off the broken tar all around him. He twisted the throttle, released the clutch, and let the bike launch forward with a deafening roar. The crowd set their gaze on the rider as he charged towards the ramp. Everyone held their breath as he got closer and closer to the colossal gap. Alex felt his suspension compress as he hit the curve of the ramp, and then he launched. You could hear the amazement in the crowd as he soared through the air. What was mere seconds to spectators felt like minutes for the passionate rider floating above a massive drop. But the crowd's enthusiasm quickly turned to shock as Alex came down too soon and slammed into the lip of the dirt ramp. He had come up short. He forcefully hit the handlebars of his bike and launched 20 feet away, losing his helmet in the process. The crowd's initial shock turned to murmurs of distress and prayer. They all hoped this would not be the last they saw of Alex. Due to the dangerous nature of the stunt, medical personnel were on standby. An emergency medical technician reached Harville about two and a half minutes after the crash. But what exactly happened to this experienced rider? In the video of Harville's final moments, you can see him trying to turn the nose of the bike forward. Alex knew he had come up short and tried to correct it mid-jump. This was likely due to a lack of speed, but some claim the dimensions of the jump were also slightly off. In the controversy surrounding the fatal jump, many pointed out that the lip of the dirt ramp should have been lower than that of the launch ramp. Many feel this was a needless death caused by overconfidence and a lack of planning on the part of the organizers. Truth be told, if you live by the sword, you always stand a chance of dying by it too. However, it still fills us with a sense of remorse when you can see how Alex was just a few life-altering feet away from a safe landing. On July 19, 2021, the findings of the Grant County Coroner's Office were released. The exact cause of death was blunt force trauma to Alex's torso. The speed at which he was traveling, combined with the height of the jump, meant the impact of the handlebars was too much for his body to survive. Unable to overcome the intense trauma to his body and organs, Alex passed away almost immediately in the ambulance, even before reaching the hospital. What is likely the saddest part of Alex Harville's story is what he left behind. He is survived by his wife, Jessica Harville, and their two children, Watson and Willis Harville. Watson was born in May of 2021, just one month before Alex's tragic accident. After getting married in September 2019, Alex wrote this on Instagram. I married my best friend. From chasing dreams to raising a family, Jessica and I have been through it all. She has stuck by my side during my highest of highs and lowest of lows. I am so lucky to now call you my wife. Before Alex's final stunt, Jessica was interviewed about the dangers of what he was doing. She said, it's a little scary from time to time, but you've got to trust that he knows what he's doing. I've been around it so long it's kind of just normal in a way, even though that sounds weird because it's totally abnormal. After his death, Jessica paid tribute to her late husband. 
She said that he was an amazing person, a loving father to their two children, and a dedicated husband. Her own strength and resilience in the face of a tragedy like this is truly admirable. Outside of his sport, Alex worked a day job on a farm in Othello to pay the bills. This shows his dedication to his family and an undying passion for motocross. Jessica started a fundraiser to help get the family on their feet again after his tragic passing. Robbie Madison also posted about the news, saying he was shattered by the loss. He was out to set a new world record today when he paid the ultimate price. My heart is broken for his family. Stories like this remind us what is truly important in life. Do you want to leave a famous legacy behind, or do you want to be there to watch your children grow up? Many say that Alex should have hung up the motocross boots when he started a family, but when you have a burning passion that won't go away, you'll go to any lengths and heights to quench it.